I, I just want to say that um, we are doing all we can uh, to continue to refine and redouble our efforts in Washington to make sure that uh, the help that is out there is relevant, is meeting the needs of the New Hampshire small business community and will allow us to get through this and to get back up and running as soon as humanly possible. Um, we are considering another significant relief package um, that the House will vote on tomorrow. It's gonna to take some time to work through uh, a compromise with the Senate, but we expect by mid-March, uh, there will be more help on the way and there are some important small business provisions that are part of that package too. Um, but as someone who comes from this world, um, you know, clearly we all know that we have a diverse uh, set of interests in terms of our Main Street businesses. There isn't a one size fits all approach and having as many tools on the table as possible is what is going to allow um, our small business community to continue to find a path forward. There has been a tremendous amount of, of innovation, of resiliency uh, among uh, our small business community. Uh, that's helped keep people employed and helped keep the doors open. Um, and we've got to make sure that both in terms of the economic support, but also the public health support, that it's as strong as possible um, in this next package so that we can get through this. Um, the best thing we can do to get our economy going again is to vaccinate as many people as possible. And so there's significant support in this package for vaccinations. And ultimately, that's what's going to allow us to put COVID in the rearview mirror 